magandang araw, Kanor. Ito uh, nga pala si Miss uh, Lindsay Miranda. Hello guys, today we're going to review the movie Mangkanor from AQ Prime starring Rez Cortez. But before we continue, don't forget to hit the like button, share this video, comment, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so you'll be updated when new content comes out. There's a perfectly good reason why the Philippines rank top as the country that spends the most time on Pornhub. Filipinos, influenced by their patriarchal system, like to see themselves as viril and God's gift to women. They take pride in their conquest and more often than not post about the women they bedded. With technology advancing every minute, the Filipino has found new ways to assert his manhood, particularly by recording his sexual prowess through video. Many a man recorded his exploits and through a confluence of events, both desired and not, the video usually ends up uploaded in the internet, scandalizing those involved in the video and their families. One Filipino who became infamous because of his recordings is a man who was dubbed Mangkanor. His video with a young lady became father for those who are into sex scandals, many branding him idol which is indicative of how a typical macho Filipino looks at women. And now AQ Prime comes out with a movie based on the exploits of the viral man. Directed by Greg Colasito, Mangkanor stars legendary Filipino character actor Res Cortez as the notorious urban legend of a man. The movie tries to present the story of Mangkanor and how he coped with his infamy. But we really don't know whether the story presented here has a semblance of truth as the narrative of Mangkanor is based primarily on hearsay and conjecture. I was surprised to see how Mangkanor was portrayed. The movie portrayed the guy as sympathetic and kind. He was not the predatory, vile human being as pictured by netizens. There was an attempt to humanize the urban legend. Res Cortez, a very able actor, was able to give a sense of humanity to Mangkanor. He didn't come off as a bad person but a victim of circumstances and was taken advantage of by people. Of course, expect people to raise hell with this kind of portrayal, but ultimately everything we throw about the veracity of the events and the portrayal will only be in vain since we really don't know the story behind those videos. The narrative has been passed endlessly and even looping around itself, so it is just best to treat the movie as entirely fiction. There really isn't much to say about the story. We just get Mangkanor telling his story to a reporter and a lawyer while in prison and eventually pondering the lessons he learned because of the scandal. Flashbacks about the supposed police life of Mangkanor are shown but they don't add anything significant to the story. Worthy of note is the horrible job rendered by the production team when it came to the young version of Mangkanor. The actor, Rain Perez, was portrayed as an ugly loser of a policeman whose face is pockmarked all over by what looked like to me as ink from a marker to serve as pimples. The supporting cast like Nica Madrid, Rob C., Johnny McNabb, Sean Quintos, and Emmeline Cruz all turn in amateurish performances worthy of a high school kit. Most of them just monotonously mouthing their lines without any regard for emotions. The other actors are just there to produce carbon dioxide and to show up in pointless sex scenes. Speaking of sex scenes, there are a lot and most of them, especially coming from the other actors, bring nothing to the movie. It is similar to the sex scenes spliced into the movie Caligula starring Malcolm McDowell. They are just there. Now whether the sex scenes are worth the watch will depend on whether you like National Geographic or Discovery Channel animal shows. If you like to see walruses mating, then this film is for you. The sections here are not pleasurable to watch. They are just exercises in futility. I also have to mention the outrageous opening credits, which is made up of outlines of people having sex, which is just a cheap way of opening the movie, albeit it had a pretentious artsy feel to it. Ultimately, this movie is nothing more than a cash grab for AQ Prime to take advantage of the urban legend's infamy and follow the heels of Viva Max's online streaming success. This is just exploitation and commodification of the sex scandals that proliferate the internet. As a movie, it fails and is just a collection of drab scenes that were meant to titillate. You are better off washing the dishes and mopping the floors 
so you will be productive instead of wasting around an hour and 30 minutes of your life with this movie. So that's the review for Mangkanor from AQ Prime. This has been Kulas for Tambay Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing.